I'm so obsessed with this lip balm from Summer Fridays. Hi, hello, and welcome to another video. I had so much fun with my last Get Ready With Me video that was chatty. I feel like it helped me pass the time. Today I'm going to do a pack with me and we're gonna chat all about some life things that are changing and happening. We are getting ready to go to Ireland. So I have my suitcase. I just love watching packing videos. I feel like they're so fun. This is how I do it. This is my system. I like to lay everything out on the bed. Don't worry, I wash the bottoms of these. Um, I like to lay everything out so that I can see everything first and then I just add it all into my suitcase. I feel like if I start packing and just adding it in the suitcase, I can't visually imagine like outfits as easily or I tend to miss things. I'm going to Ireland, but we're also going to Maine. I kind of have to pack for two different seasons, which is interesting, and I'm only bringing a carry-on. Carry-on is from Calpac, just because I know someone's gonna ask. This is what it looks like. I find traveling with a carry-on, especially if you have many destinations, is just so much easier and no, you don't get as many outfits, but you know what? It's just a peace of mind. I've lost luggage so many times and I just can't deal with it. The things that are gonna go into my backpack are my new headphones, which is where my first life update is coming in. As if traveling wasn't stressful enough already, the last three days have been wild. Our car got broken into, which I know I live in Los Angeles. This is to be expected. It happens to everyone. It's a rite of passage. I'm over that. But it's the fact that it happened two days before we leave. It was in the middle of broad daylight. Um, they just smashed the side window and we were parked in front of like a food truck. There was tons of people. It was in Culver City. And if you guys live in Los Angeles, you know Culver City is like a very safe, nice area. I never, ever, ever leave my stuff in the car, never. I always bring my wallet, my keys, everything. This one time I had forgotten my fanny pack. It looked like a, it was a tote bag, so it looked like a grocery bag. I just never thought that it would happen, especially because, again, it was like in the middle of the day, so many people around. Uh, we got back to the car, Jazzy was visiting me, we got back to the car and all of our stuff was gone, her camera was gone, AirPods, um, my wallet with my credit cards, debit cards, ID, everything. Um, so I think that's what was the most stressful part. Like we are leaving or I need <laughs> to have my things with me. Um, so that was really kind of just a whirlwind of stuff. In the same night, Bernard got attacked by an off-leash dog. Thankfully he's fine. Nick was able to like yank him up by his harness so he didn't get hurt or anything. But it was an off-leash German Shepherd and the guy was a complete, I'm not gonna use the word, can imagine what he was and it was so frustrating because he didn't understand why his dog shouldn't be off leash in like a city where there's just tons of other dogs and people and so that was really frustrating but that's okay the, the silver lining is that other than my airpods unfortunately jazzy's camera like those are things that can be replaced and i'm so privileged and lucky to even say that out loud so i feel like it could always be worse and i definitely had a moment where i was really upset but like I'm gonna let it go. I still have my passport. I can still travel. I expedited my cards, which was great. I got them today. So all in all, all is well. But my point was that I am going to pack my AirPods. I should probably charge them actually. Also major key that I always carry with me is some hand cream. I feel like my hands always get so dry on the flight, especially because you're washing your hands so much, hopefully. Another thing that's going into my backpack, my planner and this book. I'm starting the Time Traveler's Wife. I'm right in there. My laptop is currently charging. That normally goes into my backpack. And personally, I really like to carry all of my uh, my makeup and my skincare in my backpack as well. Nine out of ten times, they're going to check your carry-on if you have anything that even looks, you know, like skincare, like anything that looks watery, I guess, even if it's the right size. So I feel like it's just easier for me to have it in my backpack. I can just take it out immediately, put it on the thing, um, instead of having to like search through my carry-on. That's my backpack. Another thing that I really love is a fanny pack. I have my passport, my cards, my kind of headphones, like whatever I need that's you know immediate. I'm gonna pack that in a little bit. Let me show you guys what I put. I'm packing here. I have two different pairs of shoes that I'm gonna pack and then another uh, sneaker that I'm traveling in. I have sandals and these Nike Air Forces, black plain leggings and a bodysuit, my swimsuit, a very neutral hat, a bag that will go with pretty much everything. My thought process when I was packing for this trip was just interchangeable, intermixable stuff that I can make many outfits from. So I have a pair of jeans, a 
pair of jean shorts, a black pair of jeans, and another pair of jeans. I know it sounds crazy, but I am going away for two weeks and I feel like jeans are just so easy to mix and match. I have quite a few different um, neutral tank tops and t-shirts. Very large oversized sweater, another one that I'll be traveling in. I have this little white um, jumpsuit, I guess. It's so cute, I feel like it's very versatile. It's gonna be perfect for 4th of July. Plain little uh, ribbed kind of t-shirt tank top dress, which I think is perfect. A little white dress underneath as well. Then I have a long skirt and a little short skirt. A couple of long sleeve tops for Ireland. A white button up, which I feel like can go with everything. I'm not gonna show you guys my underwear over there. And just a pair of white shorts that can also go with everything. Oh, and some sleeping t-shirts and <laughs> my red light mask. Two kind of major things I wanna talk about and update you guys on. Number one is that I have decided and officially decided to start therapy again recently come to terms with the fact that um, everything that happened last year with Ukraine and it's still very ongoing, the war in Ukraine and um, my grandparents moving here, I, I, I just, I have realized that I have a lot of unprocessed feelings and a lot of it is anger and I'm not an angry person but like I feel myself just being a lot more um, jumpy, easily triggered and, and um, I just have all these like thoughts and feelings that I never really had before and I know it's because I have not taken the time to process this situation. So I'm really excited to um, commit to that, especially when we get back from Ireland and try to just have someone to talk to because it, it is, I'm so fortunate. I have so much support and I am really grateful for that, but I just know what unprocessed trauma does to your body and as someone who struggled with you know hormonal issues due to that, I. I feel like I just don't want to let it get to the point where I just kind of shove it under the bed and forget about it and then it catches up with me later. Um, I'm actually so excited to introduce the sponsor of today's video. It's BetterHelp. It couldn't have come at a better time. BetterHelp is actually the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. I know that finding a therapist in person can be very difficult. This opens you up to such a large network of therapists that if one doesn't work, second one doesn't work, like you know you're going to find someone. Whereas I feel like it's really hard to do that in person. And a lot of people will go into the office, they'll meet someone, and they're like, well, I can't go through this process again. I believe they have over 30,000 plus therapists in their network. Also, all of their therapists are licensed, experienced, and the process of signing up is super easy. You just answer a couple of questions about yourself, your preferences, and then they will try their best to match you with a therapist. You can also talk to your therapist via phone call, video chat, text, I mean, whatever is easier for you, whatever your preference is. And um, if you wanted to change a therapist, there's actually no cost for that. You guys can get 10% off of your first month with BetterHelp if you go to betterhelp.com. That's better, H-E-L-P. A lot of people can confuse it with health. So it's not health, it's betterhelp.com slash Mariana. And that will give you 10% off of your first month. I will also have a link in the description bar for you. Quick side note, so on this side, I'm putting my shoes, my bag, and um, just a couple of other random items and the other side of my suitcase is going to be all clothes. Another thing I wanted to update you guys on was I recently did some blood work uh, originally going into just getting a pep smear because obviously you have to get one um, every couple of years or so and last year I never shared this with YouTube or anyone really on social media. I had an abnormal pep smear result and I know it's pretty common. I did the colposcopy and um, they said that it was, I believe it was SIN1. They said, you don't do anything about it, you just come back in a year and hopefully it's you know, gone. And I was like, okay. <laughs> As you guys know, I have so much anxiety when it comes to my health. Um, I'm just an overall anxious person, hence why I need to go to therapy, but especially health stuff, I just think with everything that I've been through with the PCOS stuff, and I just feel a lot of anxiety when it comes to um, just getting like even regular checkups because I feel like I just didn't have a good experience with my doctors last time. Anyway, long story short, I went for the pep smear. My pep smear results came back normal, which was so great. I was so excited. Um, 
it was literally jumping up and down you guys they also did like a regular blood work and i never thought that anything would come back as strange so basically they said that everything looked great other than I do have like a slightly higher cholesterol, but it's like my good cholesterol is higher than my bad cholesterol and it made everything else go higher. So the doctor that I spoke to wasn't too worried about that, but what she was worried about was my ferritin, ferrin, ferritin or ferrin, I don't remember, one of those things, one of those words was off. And what that is, is basically the way that she described it was it's like uber for iron. So all of my other iron levels were great. They were totally normal, but that one was on the lower end. And I feel like it makes sense. I have been experiencing probably my entire life, but now I've been more aware of it. I've just been experiencing symptoms of iron deficiency. I get so cold. My hands and my feet get so cold. Quitting caffeine really helped, but my energy levels are still sometimes, I'm like, they're not necessarily where I feel like they should be. But because all my other test work is completely fine, the doctor said like, well, you can take some iron supplements and, you know, increase your red meat a little bit and that's it. And although I appreciate that, I feel like I want to know why my levels are low especially because taking iron supplements can make you really constipated and we don't need any of that over here <laughs> I feel like my digestion is so good I don't really want to mess with it so I ended up making an appointment with a very holistic kind of clinic here in Los Angeles and um, it's a naturopathic doctor and his wife and they're so great um, he was actually an MD and then he ended up becoming an ND so he's also a medical doctor but he kind of functions in a naturopathic way and we had like a, an entire one hour phone call going over all of the reasons as to why that could be happening maybe there's some sort of something's not being absorbed in my gut we decided we're going to do more comprehensive testing we're going to test my minerals we're also going to do a gut health test and something else that he said I don't fully remember but the reason I wanted to update you guys on this was because I am going to share it with you guys in real time. I feel like with my PCOS diagnosis, when that happened, I talked about it after everything had already healed and that was great and I think it, it can still be really helpful, but I feel like it's really easy to put everything off until you figured it out and I want to be more transparent of like, this is just what I'm dealing with, it's not a big deal, but it's still something that I feel like really pertains to health and wellness and I wanted to share it with you guys. We talked about the fact that I didn't eat red meat for about four to five years and I only recently started introducing it very consistently. So the reason that those levels could be low is just simply that they've kind of always been low just from all those years of not eating red meat. So. Um, have a plan of action. I feel really good about it. I feel really good about the people that I'm discussing this stuff with and I feel like if anything and if there's any takeaway from this video is I encourage you guys to you know advocate for your health and find professionals that are going to give you more options even if it's just more testing even if it's just more time in the office whatever it is but just finding people that are going to listen to you and and validate your feelings and validate your symptoms, especially as women, I feel like it's just something that we struggle with a lot. So I'm pretty much done packing. This was so nice. I feel like I just had a little heart to heart with my best friends. Thank you guys for entertaining me. And that's it. All right, it fit. And it doesn't look too big. I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging in Ireland. I am actually planning on taking the next two weeks to uh, try to be offline in terms of like scrolling and taking in content. I still wanna post some stuff because I feel like it's gonna be great to be able to look back on it. But I just don't really wanna have a camera with me all the time and doing this all the time. So that is all. I'll see you guys right as I get back. And thank you so much for being here.